Give an image or a story will mean different things to different people, but I think for Ara, at least in this instance, it's all very direct and very conscious, the choices that she's making and the, and the way she's setting it up. It's to tell a particular story that she has in mind, and it's just really about, for her, the sort of the best uh, way to tell that story. And, and even though there's a sequence of shots, it's still like, I think your mind is going to fill in things going on in between the shots. It's really trying to tell a narrative, and that's again where like her choreography comes in, and not just say, oh, here's a picture, here's a story, and I want to bring you on a journey, really, with me, and this is my idea, and this is how I perceive my world. It's almost as if <laughs> I'm making you close your eyes, and then I'm saying, open your eyes, close them, really quickly, <laughs> and I'm telling you exactly when you get to look. You take the book a little bit more towards uh, Tala. I need another one. Okay. Um, as many as you need, Ara. They can be at the bottom of the frame. That's fine. I just need that much light on them. All right, let's do it. That's the shot. I knew immediately when I decided to shoot these stories, these three stories that I'm going to do this year, that I would definitely want to launch a website and sell them on a website where people could see the images in a narrative sequence but also choose that favorite image. Mm -hmm.